very stage-worthy story with very good characters and, and uh, that it was very, very uh, theatrical and moving. Annie and Jack are both parts of me. They are a dialogue that I have constantly with myself. Um, all of the things that come out of their mouth, some of which are highly vitriolic, are things that are actually coming out of my mouth. <laughs> they are the things that I yell and scream at myself and that I want to yell and scream at the world. One of the major challenges for me is, is playing a guy who is in this impossible situation trying to balance the idea that now he's written this big book and the whole world is about to pay attention to him and his life and he has this very private secret bubble of a marriage and a relationship uh, with Annie and all the different things that happen he's kind of caught in the middle so he's got, there's no kind of any decision you make he'll change his mind later when things aren't working so a lot of it was rather than trying to find some overall character traits was to find lots of different ways and different tools of how he can deal with it Annie is uh, an incredibly beautiful but complex character who is uh, fiercely smart um, but battles with a lot of uh, issues. So she battles with um, addiction, with uh, eating disorder. Um, I think she has a few sort of mental uh, health issues and she's um, in this all-consuming relationship with Jack, which is her sort of uh, everything. And, um, and what was very interesting and I suppose quite complicated uh, playing her is just to, is to play someone who obviously has an um, you know, immense amount of emotional baggage. I think that creativity, love, authenticity, self-worth, and sometimes self-destruction all go hand in hand in sort of the general themes of, of life. The risks that you have to take to be creative, particularly now, are real and human risk. It's always, you know, really uh, fascinating as an actor to be given a, a role like this. Um, you know, it brings you to some interesting philosophical places and, and that was, uh, so yeah, it's, it's been a journey that we've all sort of gone on together and there's been a lot of discussion and a lot of experimentation through rehearsals yeah. to find that and to find a kind of path where it seems authentic. We've been lucky that the people in the audience so far, a lot of people really relate to it themselves or know people and so you have a kind of a, a duty to make sure that it is authentic and with the writing as it is, mm. it doesn't explain it all but you absolutely believe in this um, really unique and kind of beautiful relationship. Yeah. It's almost like now that it's coming back and being done in English, it's like I imagine my child having gone on a, a you know, six or seven year trip and is now coming back home and I get to see how they're doing and check in on them, see if they've grown, if they still have all their fingers, things like that. I, I think the great thing about doing any play in London is just the, the culture of theater. People actually go to the theater and they like it and they like to go and they like to see what's on and they enjoy it and that's pretty unique. And, in the world, actually, I think.